Hi everybody, it's Faculus here, and I've got quite the little audience with me today here in the Great White North. <laughs> anyway, I didn't know why this was so interesting to them all of a sudden. <laughs> anyway, you know, I was listening to an interview with Charles de Cunfi. I don't know if you know who that is. He's a he's an author, a clinician, a great horseman, a rider. Um, he judges, and um, anyway, I was listening to the in interview. I think it's from a number of years ago, and he was talking about what was then his new book, which was, I believe, called. A Rider's Escape from Tyranny, I think. I will link, I will link, put a link in below just so that in case I've got that wrong. One of the topics in the book is how he escaped from behind the Iron Curtain, got into Austria, and eventually made his way to America. And that's where he lives now. I think he's 85 now, actually, but it sounds like a fantastic book. I've actually ordered it because I want to read it. But one of the undercurrents of the book seems to be, from what I can tell through the interview, that Americans are so blessed to have that freedom and how much he cherishes that freedom and how much he hopes that people will never take it for granted. I really liked that. I agree with that too. And I've got a real audience here now. Anyway, uh, he talks about how, um, this is funny. You guys, are <laughs> this is pretty funny. Everybody's really interested in my little video here. This is kind of, kind of funny. Anyway, one of the other things he said, which I also agree with is how horses can elevate human beings. I, I really liked that. And One of the points he makes is that going back 2,000 years, in every language in Europe, the word noble is always associated with being a rider. This is another quote from the interview. Survival, in a relationship with a horse, is dependent on the horse elevating you gradually in courage, empathy, self-discipline, focus, endurance, the long list of human virtues. About. and I had to laugh when he said this was how you know you can try to educate children but it tends to kind of go in one ear and out the other quite often and you know Actually, and it's true I mean I can't tell you how many times over the years we've had parents and teachers call us and ask us what the heck are we doing with their kids because they notice a real difference in them and you know of course we always tell them that's a horse I don't know how many how many of them believe us but that's that's the answer but the thing that I think it's really important to remember is that this also works for adults. Like I find most adults come with all of those virtues anyway, but that does not stop the horse from enhancing them. Every opportunity that people get to carve out a little bit of time and spend it with horses, it will enhance your life immeasurably. You know, a lot of my adult beginners, I find that they, they originally come to take lessons because they've, they've just never let go of that childhood dream that they have. But the wonderful thing is that horses get to show them that it can even be better than they ever imagined. So this is a message for all my beginner riders. It is never too late. Anyway, that's it for this week. If you're watching this anywhere besides at our blog. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> go away. Anyway, that's it for this week. If you're watching this anywhere besides at our blog, go on over there, scroll down, leave a comment. Let me know how horses enhance your life. And remember to thank your horse. We'll talk to you next week. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Say goodbye, Rocky. <laughs>